Hi everyone, my name is Salim Al Jabli and I'm a senior character artist. I've been working in the game and VFX industry for the past 15 years now. I would like to welcome you to my channel where I'll be sharing with you my own experience and knowledge and help you grow as an artist and a person. This is actually a compacted version of the live stream that I've done last week, working on my own personal project as well as sharing with you some of some tips and tricks on how I do organic work. I hope you learned something new from this video and if you have any questions or would like to know something specific please don't hesitate to leave me a message in the comment below or just contact me through my Instagram. In this portion right here, I'll be showing you how I do my organic form. That could be muscles or, you know, like the transition between the muscles. So yeah, just follow along and, you know, it's quite simple and easy. There, is, there isn't anything complicated about it. So what I basically do is I make the big forms first and then I use them standard brush with a very low intensity and I make sure like the radius is a little bit big so when I'm when I'm cutting it's not making really small uh, cuts but 
instead it's defining a little bit the geometry and and yeah and uh, right after that what I'm doing is I'm making my secondary volumes or my secondary forms into the model this could be the muscle definition or you know like the the muscle separation and then I use clay tube or clay build up uh, it just depends on what you're comfortable with and and I go with the flow and make some sort of uh, I just go with the direction of the the forms first that will give me a good variation on the on the lines and then I just go across the volume so my forms will, will have a little bit of weight to it in a way so it's not all inflated and doesn't look like it's uh, a balloon or something but instead it just feel like it, it has a mass to it and yeah that's that's basically it for for like the the forms creation and then you can go back and keep tweaking using the damp standard and maybe a little bit of inflate process you may see later on on the video so, so yeah
normally when I'm done with my secondary forms uh, and before I start you know like adding the tertiary forms I I create a new layer as you can see here and I use the standard brush with the standard alpha with the with the the vertical lines and I start creating some sort of directional wrinkles it's mostly like the the directional skin where you know like where the skin's gonna fall and and where it's gonna go and that's gonna help me create a tertiary volumes by also like respecting and you know have a pre-built idea about how my detailing is gonna work on top of it so it's not like just going blind and just doing the forms in 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 a way that it is completely isolated from what's gonna be my detailing because as i always say you know like details in themselves they are also like volumes and forms but on a smaller scale but it's all work it all work together so the way we do like the big forms secondary forms and tertiary forms it's also the same way how we would be like building our details as well so it should be all coherent and it should work together i've seen a lot of artists they just go with primary and you know secondary and tertiary detail uh, forms but when they add their detailing it doesn't feel right it does feel like it's something floating on top of a smooth surface and that's basically because they they didn't build that phase in between the tertiary forms and the primary details and for me what i do is i always like jump one step ahead so I create like the tertiary forms and I jump to probably like the secondary details but I make them in a layer and then I start working uh, on an in-between uh, phase which gonna be my primary details so it's tertiary forms secondary details and then I built my primary details and then I can remove my secondary details and you know like just refine them and make them like crispier or, so, or whatever you know like uh, depending on on the reference image that I need so that's that's I think uh, and I find like easier way to make the model uh, be consistent going from each each uh, level to the next one for example going from primary to secondary forms and going from secondary to tertiary forms and so on to the point where you you are at a poor detail level so, so yeah i hope this tip would be helpful for you and might give you an idea or a better idea how to to do like the detailing after you're done with the the forms and yeah this model has been sent to me through my instagram uh, from a guy called hoho for review and feedback session so i would like to thank him and thank everyone like who has sent me like their model for the the feedback sessions that i've done in the past and yeah just follow along and you will see like what are the things that i focus on on and fix to make the model looks more organic and feel uh, more realistic so, so yeah.
in likeness in general it's not an easy topic to be honest with you guys so you might have to take your time and be very patient with it and gather as much reference as you can you can also like use overlay images on top of your model to see and to check proportions and, and so on so just take the time learning a little bit of the anatomy of the face will be very helpful especially like for dual likeness uh, as you may probably like know and have a better understanding of some some muscle which are a little bit complicated as well as as i always like mention and insist that you shouldn't really focus on the features of the face because that's that's a really tricky part where you may probably like do the features very quickly and you will start to see that the likeness that that the model started to look like the character but the problem is that all your forms are incorrect and it's gonna be like really hard for you to pinpoint what's the problem even though like you you know like that the the character has the features of the of the actor or the subject but it's still not there yet and that's gonna take you probably like weeks if not months to just fix and nail it but to do it like the right way you just have to leave the features a little bit later then focus on them so so yeah your your main focus should be like proportions the forms and volumes at the beginning and to the point where you don't go anything beyond like the second subdivision and once you're done with that and the model start to look like the actor without the features then you can start adding the features and that's like the shape of the eye the shape of the mouth the lips and, and so on the shape of the nose of course and and ears but yeah just focus on the forms uh, the skull shape the proportion and then go in there and start working on the details and the details is basically the the features of the face like the, sh the how defined are the eyes their shape the shape of the nose the shape of the mouth and so on so so yeah uh, i hope this is very helpful for you guys and i hope you've learned something from this video uh, please like the video and share it with your friends and yeah have fun